as ChatGPT gives me character descriptions. I'm going to be feeding them into Bing's image creator. That way I've got AI pictures made from AI descriptions. All right, so I'm going to tell ChatGPT here that we need to make the characters first. Let's start with Sir Aldrich Thorne. Give me his age and a short description of how he looks. Then create the character. Give me his race, ability scores, using point by, and chosen background. So we have his age as 37. His appearance, Sir Aldrich is a tall, imposing figure with broad shoulders and a muscular build, the result of years of training in battle. His face bears the signs of a man who's seen many trials. Strong, square jawline with a few faint scars that add to his seasoned look. Keeps his auburn hair neatly trimmed, though streaks of gray have begun to appear at his temples. His eyes are piercing steel blue, filled with both determination and compassion. Aldrich wears gleaming plate armor adorned with the insignia of his order, and he carries a large, well-worn shield emblazoned with a symbol of justice. His presence radiates authority and calm. Strength 15, Dexterity 8, Constitution 14, Intelligence 10, Wisdom 12, and Charisma 15. Seems pretty normal for a paladin. Background, okay, it's going to keep up with the noble background, like in his backstory. Skills, history, persuasion, taking position of privilege. People of high society recognize Aldrich's noble birth, and he can secure audiences with nobility. And choosing a gaming set, chess, for his tool proficiency. Feats from Variant Human, okay, so, yes, I missed that. Race, Human, and he's taking a feat. He's going with Shield Master. Aldrich's experience with a shield gives him superior defensive capabilities. Can use his shield to protect himself and others, knocking foes back, or protecting against area effects. Skills are Athletics, Insight, Perception, Persuasion, History from his background. This build makes Aldrich a formidable tank and leader, specializing in defense and battlefield control. Can handle physical combat with ease, inspire others with his charisma, and use his shield both offensively and defensively. Okay, so character creation wasn't perfect here. Uh, we also need two languages from his race and background. You can only get charisma to 13 with point by, but you also have two separate score increases from your race. Where would you like to put those points? can't have perception as a paladin, but you can choose from intimidation, medicine, or religion to replace it. Let's see what ChatGPT says. 16 and 15 with strength and constitution. Taking elvish and draconic. And this time it looks like medicine. Okay, now at level two, you get a fighting style. Which one would you like to take? And you also get two first level spells. What would you like to take? ChatGPT says the defensive fighting style, giving him a plus one to his AC. And bless and shield of faith. ChatGPT says these choices give Aldric a strong defensive toolkit, while also allowing him to boost his party's effect effectiveness in combat. Does this fit your vision for him? Well, it's more about your vision, ChatGPT, not mine. Uh, but uh, I'm going to remind you that you're now level 3, so you've taken your Oath of the Crown subclass. You don't really get any new features to be chosen at this time, but I'm just going to let ChatGPT know so it has that in its memory. I wouldn't even spells out what it's getting at level 3. It's, uh, it's good to know. Oh, even additional things later on. We'll get there. We now need some starting equipment for Sir Aldrich. As a paladin, Sir Aldrich starts with the following equipment. Chain mail, or he can choose to take splint later for better protection. That's your choice. A shield, a long sword, light crossbow and 20 bolts, a priest pack or explorer's pack. Well, which one do you want? Holy symbol, set of fine clothes, signet ring, a belt pouch containing 10 gold. If opting for splint... Adjust the starting equipment to include and remove chainmail. Some further corrections here. You only get chainmail as a paladin and you do not have access to the crossbow. Instead, choose any simple weapon or five javelins. Going with chainmail, easy of 16, and five javelins. Okay, great. And here we have our character sheet for Sir Aldrich Thorne. He's got a plus five to his attacks. 1d8 plus three longsword. His 1d6 plus three javelins. 
he's got bless, command, compelled duel, shield of faith, divine sense, lay on hands, divine smite. So all in all, a uh, pretty traditional paladin, I would say. Okay, now I'm going to tell ChatGPT to start on the rogue and to just give me all the same information. Let's see if ChatGPT remembers. All right, looks like it's going well. So we have Verity v. Gale. Age 29, appearance. Verity is of average height with a lithe and agile build suited for quick movements and stealth. She has sharp, angular features with high cheekbones and a mischievous glint in her emerald green eyes. Her dark, wavy hair is often pulled back into a practical braid or tied with a ribbon. She dresses in sleek, dark clothing designed for ease of movement and blending into shadows, often complemented by a stylish cloak and a wide-brimmed hat. A few scars and marks on her hands and arms hint at her life of danger and adventure. We've got another human variant. Strengths 10, dex 17, increase to 18 with racial bonus. Constitution 12, intelligence 14, increase to 15 with racial bonus. Uh, I don't think this is correct. We'll change that in a minute. Wisdom 10 and charisma 13. Background is the criminal. Skills, deception, and stealth. Get the criminal contact feature. V has a reliable and trustworthy contact in the criminal underworld who can provide information and help with illicit activities. And of course, thieves tools, proficiencies, and a gaming set. She's going with dice. And for the feats, she's taking Skulker. V can hide with lightly obscured when lightly obscured, and she can attempt to hide even if she is only lightly obscured by foliage or dim light. Additionally, she doesn't suffer disadvantage on perception checks in dim light or darkness. Skills from her class and race: acrobatics, investigation, sleight of hand, deception. Stealth and Insight. For level 1 features, yeah, she's getting Sneak Attack, Thieves Can't, Master of Intrigue, Master of Tactics, and taking Common, Elvish, and of course she gets Thieves Can't. She actually gets that from being a rogue, not from being a uh, criminal, but that's okay. Does this setup work for V? I don't know, let's check. All right, ChatGPT, we have some corrections for V. First, your ability points are wrong, so we need to redo those. With Variant Human, you only get two plus one stat increases, so we also need to change that. You also need to select two skills to have expertise in and another tool set since rogues already have these tools proficiency. Okay, so it looks like I did a little bit better with the ability points this time. Uh, too much charisma, though, so I'm just assume that's going to be an 11, not a 13. And it only gave one point for intelligence dexterity, so that's correct. Uh, moving on to expertise, stealth, and sleight of hand. Great choices. And proficiency with, proficiency with disguise kit. Okay, that's good. Uh, it went ahead and gave me the starting equipment. Rapier, sharp bow, burglar's pack, leather armor, two daggers, thieves tools, a disguise kit. Uh, you don't actually get a disguise kit. And then crowbar, set of dark comic clothes, and a belt pouch containing 15 gold. All right, so you don't start with a disguise kit, so just update that. Oh, it's going back through and giving me the whole thing again. Okay. The final version reflects the correct tool proficiency and starting equipment. Ready to continue with the druid or make any other adjustments? Actually, you know, we need to do levels two and three. We need to add levels two and three. Already choosing Mastermind, you will need another gaming set and two new languages. It tells me about the abilities it's getting. That's fine. Cutting action. Mastermind. Okay, here we go. Playing cards and Undercommon and Dwarvish. Great. Okay, here's our character sheet for V. She's got her dagger, rapier, short bow, 14 AC with leather armor. And, of course, don't forget she has the skulker feet. All right, let's go ahead and get started on the Druid. Give me the same information, please. All right, creating the Druid, Kara Whis Wind Whisperer. It's actually forgotten the name of the Druid already. It's Leora Starfon. Go ahead and correct that for it. Age 32, appearance. Leora has a gentle yet wild appearance with long 
dark brown hair interwoven with vines and leaves. Her sharp amber eyes have a piercing gaze that gives us the sense of deep connection with nature. Her skin has a warm, earthy tone, and she wears simple but finely crafted leather armor adorned with natural symbols. She often carries a wooden staff and a small satchel filled with herbs and natural trinkets. A race of half-elf. Strength 8, 14 dex, 13 con, 10 int, 15 wisdom, and 13 charisma. With a plus 1 to wisdom and plus 1 to charisma from racial bonuses. I think these stats are also wrong. I'll go back and correct that. Plus 2 from being a half-elf. And also plus 1 wisdom and plus 1 dex. Not sure if that's right. Background hermit. Skills, medicine, and religion. Discovery feature. During Kara's time in seclusion, she made a significant discovery. Either a great truth about the natural world or the cosmos. Well, I'd like to know which. Tool proficiency, herbalism kit. Languages, sylvan, juridic, common. One language from background. Which one? Starts giving me the class features. Uh, here we have skills, perception, nature, medicine, religion, insight. Uh, okay, it's, so it shows primordial for the background. It's already giving me the starting equipment. Level 2. And level 3. Talks about wild shape, spellcasting, skills and languages. Looks like it got everything but spells. And uh, a few corrections that'll be needed. Okay, so some corrections... The name of this druid was actually Leora Starfond, and she is the Strickle of Stars, not Moon Druid. You also get one more language and a tool proficiency. Alright, going with Celestial as the language and Calligrapher supplies. Okay. So spell casting now. I need your two cantrips as well as your six spells you would like to prepare for Leora. Guidance, always a good choice. And Produce Flame, okay. We got Cure Wounds, Fairy Fire, Tangle, Healing Word. Moonbeam, Detect Magic. I'll double check and make sure that that's correct. And here we have Leora's character sheet. It's got her Scimitar, Produce Flame, Guiding Bolt from being a Star Druid. Uh, she's got Guidance, Produce Flame, and then Shillelagh. Uh, she had actually picked Guidance, but she already got that from being a Star Druid, so I went ahead and fixed that as well, asking ChatGPT which cantrip it would like instead. All right, now that we've got Leora done, let's work on the sorcerer, Calum Ashford. Now I'm going to have it redo his appearance, since I realized it was made with Storm Sorcerer in mind and not Divine. 28. Here we go. Calum has a celestial aura about him, as if touched by divine light. His hair is a deep, dark brown, with streaks of gold shimmering through it, glowing faintly in certain lighting, especially when he casts his spells. His eyes are a striking, luminous gold, often giving the impression that they are filled with a soft, otherworldly light. His skin has a slight glow to it, especially in the dim light, making him seem almost ethereal. He wears elegant but functional robes in light colors, often adorned with symbols of divine favor, and carries a small holy symbol engraved with intricate designs representing the heavens. Though he exudes an aura of quiet power, there's also warmth and compassion in his demeanor that makes others feel at ease in his presence. That definitely sounds more like an ASMR rather than a human, but it's still pretty cool. And also a variant human. Okay, three variant humans. 10 Strength, 14 Dex, 14 Con, 10 Intelligence, 10 Wisdom, and a total of 16 Charisma. He's got the Noble Background, History and Persuasion. Caleb's noble upbringing grants him an air of importance. People are inclined to think the best of him, granting him entry to high society and favorable treatment in noble circles. Playing card tool proficiency and Common and Draconic as a language. And then Arcana, Deception, Persuasion, History, and Insight for his skills. Also chose Elvish for the human race language. 
some starting equipment. All right, let me see if this is correct. All right, as for corrections, ChatGPT, you get a feat from your race. You chose Divine Soul, not Storm Sorcerer, so you would need to choose an alignment for your Divine Spell list. You've used too many points for point five. You only get 27 to use for 5e, and you get a plus one to two separate scores, so please adjust this. Did you want a component pouch or arcane focus? Remember, these are your decisions, not mine. And please give me the adjustments only. I don't want to see the entirety of the information again. And it looks like it's doing point by wrong again. Okay. Here we go. Magic adept feet. All right. Divine soul. Neutral good. And arcane focus. But again, too many ability points. You're spending 28 instead of 27. Please try again. And it looks like you got it right this time. Giving itself an 8 strength so it can bump it up to a 15 charisma. But it also looks like it hasn't spent those extra points. So you get one more plus one to an ability score from your race. Please choose. Looks like it's adding it to its wisdom score. All right. Looks like Calum having a little bit of trouble assigning his ability scores. All right, now we need Calum's cantrips and spells. Firebolt, Sacred Flame, Mage Hand, Thaumaturgy. Cure Wounds, Shield, Mage Armor, Chromatic Orb, and Bless. All right, Caleb almost got his spells correct, but that's one too many spells, so let's see if it wants to make any changes there. Cure Wounds, Shield, Chromatic Orb, Bless. Okay. All right, ChatGPT, I now need your spell selection for level three, and you get one more spell of level one or two. I also need your meta magic selections for level three as well. Okay, so it's listing off the spells he already knows and says it would like to take level two hold person. And for meta magic, we have twin spell and subtle spell. Or you've already taken both Twin Spell and Subtle Spell with your feet. Please choose two more. ChatGPT says thank you for the reminder. And it's selecting Quicken Spell and Empowered Spell. It's got a good list of meta magic, so that'll be nice. And yes, that's all we need, so we'll go ahead and take a look at his character sheet. Here we have Calum's character sheet. He's got Firebolt, Mage Hand, Sacred Flame, Thaumaturgy, the same first level and second level spell selections. Go ahead and equip his dagger. And he's ready to go. We have our four players completed. Sir Aldrich Thorne, Verity V. Gale, Leora Starfont, and Calum Ashford. I'll be excited to jump into the adventure in my next episode, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video and are into D&D &D and gaming guides, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on all my channel's latest content. Got any thoughts or suggestions for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. If you're as passionate about gaming as I am, make sure to check out my other videos for more epic guides and adventures. This has been Dead Man Fred, and until next time, may RNG be forever in your favor.